guys, it's Laura and you're watching Laura X Annie and welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, I have a Smurf with me. It's a special guest Smurf. A special guest Smurf, it's Millie! Hi! And um, I know it's been a while since I've done a video. <laughs> Quite a while. Quite a while, but it's because I moved. So obviously this is not my normal filming background. This is, oh, we did that in sync there. Oh. Um, this is my flat. This is my flatmate. Hi. Also, best friend. Hi. Works well. So today we are going to do Mastermind. Now, we have kind of been digging up on this general <laughs> knowledge really recently as well. This is, there is a- Putting ourselves under a lot of pressure. Yeah, I can't remember what the site is called, but I'll link it down below, but basically you have like between four and five minutes to answer questions <laughs> and I can't spell for shit <laughs> so it's been really stressful <laughs> trying to do it but it's worked we've done quite well we, yeah we've always got above average yeah we get really stressed out if we don't get above average <laughs> <laughs> yeah so obviously if you don't know how mastermind works mastermind is basically one person sits in a chair the other person I can't remember his name he does it all basically can't remember what his name is. I can't remember his name either. I feel no. so bad. But you have a specialist subject round, which you have two minutes to do. And then you have a general knowledge round, which is two and a half minutes to do. And basically your specialist subject can be anything. So for example, my dad's would probably be David Bowie between 1960 and 1983. <laughs> and um, John Mitt Humphreys. John Humphreys, that is who <laughs> hosts it. And you get a trophy at the end, but we don't have a trophy. So we're just playing for oh. I'll think, I'll think of something during yeah. this video. <laughs> She'll think of something. So Millie's special subject is Fall Out Boy, lyrics, music videos, music stuff to their music albums. Yes. Yeah. And, and a disclaimer, we're classing the first Fall Out Boy album as evening out with your girlfriend. Yeah, even though Fall Out Boy doesn't want to admit it, I don't care. That even, was your first album. Even though it's not on their actual genuine Wikipedia discovery page. Tell that to the five copies of the album I have at home, this is all I'm saying. And mine is BBC Sherlock. So, uh, surprise, surprise. shall we do rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first? Okay. Okay. One, One two, two, three. You go first. Okay. Okay, catch you later. Catch you later. <laughs> Hello contestant, would you like to say your name? Hello, my name is Laura Goodwin. I am 23 and I'm a film student from AIR and my specialist subject is BBC Sherlock. Okay, so the rules are you have two minutes mm -hmm. to get through your specialist subject yep. quiz. Yep. Answer as many questions as you can. Yep. I need a pen so I can mark how many you get right. <laughs> and if you start, you are allowed to say I've started so I can finish because that's what John yes, Humphreys does. Yes, I'll do that. And right. I can pass, can't I? You can pass. Okay. But if you pass and I run out of questions, I'm going to have to go back to him. Yeah, that's yes. exactly okay. Right. Don't worry. Right, don't worry. Time starts now. Who created BBC Sherlock? Stephen Moffat and Mark Gatiss. Co-creator Mark Gatiss portrayed which character? Mark, uh, Mycroft Holmes. In A Study in Pink, what is the surname of the man who introduces John to Sherlock? Uh, Stamford. The Great Game is from which season? Season one. What is the name of Charles Augustus Magnuson's mansion? Uh, Appledore. Don't talk so loud, you lower the IQ of the whole street is said in which episode? Uh, a Study in Pink. What does the O stand for in H-O-U-N-D? Pass. <laughs> in the six thatches, what word does Sherlock ask Mrs. Hudson say to him if he's being cocky? Pass. How many nicotine patches does Sherlock need to solve his first case? Fifteen. Incorrect. <laughs> what is Sherlock's full job title? Uh, consulting detective. What is the password to Irene Adler's phone? Sherlocked. What colour is the original title of the book in which A Study in Pink is based on? Scarlet. Who helped Sherlock find the children in the Reichenbach Fall? John Lestrade. Um, I'm not a clue. Uh, finish Sherlock's text, come at once. Um, if not, come. Uh, if inconvenient, come anyway. Where does Mrs Hudson say you shouldn't keep bodies? Basement. <laughs> Where was Henry's knight's father killed? 
Oh, uh, Dartmoor. What message does Moriarty send to repeatedly to Sherlock and Reichenbach fall? I owe you. What number is John's blog counter stuck at? Mm, 1885. Close. What actress plays Irene Adler? Lara Pulver. Oh! oh. <laughs> I'll give you one more because I was about to start. Okay. What is the title of the episode where Sherlock first wears the Deerstalker hat? That's the great game. No, is it not? No, I'm Super. afraid not. Oh. Right, let me count up how much you've got. So you did pretty well, we got through 21 questions, 20 questions. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, out of 20 you got 13. Mm, lucky number. <laughs> yeah, so you know, yeah. 13's still good. Okay, it's time for you to get <laughs> in the spot. Hi, my name is Millie Clayton. I'm a film and sociology student in Stirling, but I come from Bedfordshire and my specialist subject is Fall Out Boy songs. Welcome contestant. So you have two minutes to answer as many questions as possible. Yep. Can I have the pen back? Yes, of course you can. <laughs> um, and if I start a question and the timer goes off, I will continue um, and you can pass as many times as you want. Okay. okay? Are you ready? Mm, I'm ready. Okay. So, who cameoed in Thanks for the Memories? Kim Kardashian. <laughs> what was Fall, uh, Fall Out Boy's fifth studio album? Follow You Do. Correct. Finish this lyric. I'm a young lover's rage. Oh no! I'm a young lover's <laughs> No, no, no! What is track three on Evening Out With Your Girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Pass! <laughs> Who cameoed in Dance Dance? <laughs> Pass! What year was um, From Under the Court Tree released? 2006. 7. Nope. Five, Finish. 2005! <laughs> Finish this lyric. Cutting me to the bone, nothing. Pass. <laughs> What is track six on Save Rock and Roll? <laughs> Pass. Travis McCoy cameoed in two other music videos. What were they? Well, Fall Out Boy songs. Uh huh. Uh, a little less sixteen candles. Yep. And pass. <laughs> What label was Take This To Your Grave released under? Uh, Fueled by Raymond. Correct. Finish this lyric. Drop a heart, break a name. We're only sleeping in and sleeping for the wrong team. Correct. Ah! Uh, Sex Drive 2008 was a film that used a song from Infinity on High. What was it? Fame is less than infamy. Correct. Name someone who cameoed in I Don't Care. Oh, um, Christ. Oh. Uh, Just someone. I know! <laughs> <laughs> what was Fall Out Boy's third album? Uh, from Under the Culture. Correct. What is track 13 on Infinity on High? Okay, right. It's my favourite, I think. Is it You're Crashing But You're No Wave? Yep. Oh. Okay! Only answer, only got 15 questions. Right, so. And I passed so many. <laughs> so I am going to give you. Eight, because I'm going to give you what year was uh, from under the court mm -hmm. at least because you did see it. What is the highest number in a Sudoku puzzle? Nine. What term is... What is the term for a positive electrode? Oh! <laughs> Pass. Which fam swimming stroke is named after an insect? Butterfly. Which English queen has the same name as a type of plum? Victoria. How many dots are used in each letter in the braille system? Five. <laughs> <laughs> Which movie won Oscar for Best Actor, Director and Cinematography in 2016? 2016, uh, was it The Revenant? Revenant. What is a female deer called? A doe. What unit is used to measure horses? Feet. 
Who is Reg Dwight, better known as? Pass. You know, you know this. How many 10 pin bowling skittles need knocking down for a strike? 10. Who is the patron saint of music? David Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. Um, uh, what are birds of a feather said to do? Flock together. Uh, the single Papa Don't Preach came from which Madonna album? Not a clue. <laughs> I know a song, but it's not an album. <laughs> what is the only bird that can hover in the air and also fly backwards? A tit. <laughs> You're a what? Um, <laughs> <laughs> who earned the nickname Slow Hand? Eric Clapton! <laughs> How is 77 represented in Roman numerals? <laughs> not a clue, mate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Nostradamus was famous for making what? Not a clue! <laughs> <laughs> Insulin is commonly used to treat which condition? Uh... Pass! <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, the first atom bomb was dropped on which Japanese city? Uh, Hiroshima! <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> What is uh, insulin? Oh, blah, blah, blah. What is the main source of vitamin C? Orange. <laughs> okay, time's up. You got. <laughs> you got nine right. Okay. Are you ready? So your this is general knowledge round. Questions start now. Um, how many states are in the US? Fifty. Which German city is famous for the perfume it produces? Cologne. Correct. Who did Prince, Prince Rainier of Monaco marry? Grace Kelly. Correct. When did the First World War start? 1914. Correct. Where is the smallest bone in the body? Ear. Yeah. Correct. What does the Roman numeral C represent? <laughs> is it 100? Correct. What nationality was Chopin? Who? <laughs> I'll say that Pass. in the past. Be Baker Street. Sherlock. A 1990 ad for jeans helped put which early 70s Steve Miller band song to the top of the charts? Pass. A caravan is a group of what animals? <laughs> what a pass! What is it though? <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> a cob is a male of which creature? Pass. A David Lean film was about a passage to which country? A plant produced by crossing different species is known as what? It's a really easy... No. About how far does the sun's gravitational influ influence extend? <laughs> I don't even understand the question! After 1928, women over what age were given the vote? 30? Nope. After a crash at Le Mans, who stopped motor racing for over 30 years? I know this. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> After seven, which is the highest prime number? Eleven. Correct. At what is uh, after what is London's Fleet Street River named? No, that's don't ignore that. An unearthly child was the first episode of which long running T V show? An unearthly child. Was Richard III killed? <coughs> AU is a symbol of which chemical element? Gold. Billy Connolly was a member of which group? Billy Connolly? Billy Connolly. Oh, I don't know what group. I don't know. Okay, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine! nine! We both got nine! Yeah, but you won. Yeah, but it doesn't. But you might be able to up yourself. Okay. Up anyway. yourself. <laughs> anyway, right. So Millie got nine.
I know what you got. Okay. I know what you got. Okay. You got in total mm -hmm. 22. You got in total 16. Woo! What a lucky number! <laughs> oh, that was fun! That, that was, was fun. fun. So in this section, me and Millie are asking each other the questions that we had on the rest of our sheets when it comes to Fallout Boy and Sherlock. Um, yeah, this has been really choppily edited. I'm really sorry. Also, it's a humongous big video and I couldn't chop certain bits out, but then I wanted to, you know, I've chopped chunks out. So, um, yeah, but um, this was really fun to do. Um, I'm going to do the end screen in a second, so you'll get our, our ending. But I haven't edited a video since um, December last year, so bear with me and how badly edited this is. I'm still trying to get back into the weight of it. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. So, that was Mastermind. <laughs> um, she definitely thought I was gonna win that. I did, I did, I definitely was like, Dumb bitch. I should have gone with Harry Potter, I would have lost. Should have gone with MCR, I would have won. <laughs> so, obviously, this is Millie. Hi. We're gonna do another video in a minute. And we may do, put makeup on each other. We'll see, however it goes. Yeah, so hopefully there'll be another video at some point in the near is future. I look translucent. Um, yeah. Oh, spooky stories. Oh, that'll be coming. Spooky stories. Yeah, that, but we'll have to film that at night. Yeah. Surrounded by candles. Yes, that'll be coming soon because I'm going to be enlisting the help of. Oh, hang on. Someone needs a trophy because you won. <laughs> I'm going to find you a trophy. You wait there. As I was saying, I will be enlisting the help of me dad, who you guys have never seen on my channel. You won't see him, but you'll hear him because he's done the radio now. So, oh Jesus. Hello, winner of Mastermind. Here is your trophy. <laughs> this is such an honor. I haven't obviously been a part of the Sherlock fandom for a while because obviously. Look, I just want to say, on behalf of everyone, we're really proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much, Millie, for being in the video. Thanks for having me. And until next time. Bye! Wait.